Welcome back everyone. I'm Erin. I teach tip tools and tutorials for virtual assistants. And today we are looking at a really cool tutorial for vibe coding. What Lovable does is it allows us to build certain tools or apps or even websites that are custom built just for you and me without knowing how to code at all. You can just build these things simply by adding prompts, just like you would put a prompt into something like ChatGPT. So for this tutorial, I'm going to show you something that I previously built, and then I'm going to build a tool with you so that you can see how easy it is to use. And you can see why something like this is so beneficial to VAs like you and me. So as I sat down to type into Lovable, I was thinking, what kind of tools could I benefit from as a freelance admin assistant? And the first thing I thought of, which I want to show you my pre-built tool, was a task track list. It created two sample clients for me, and it also created a very simple visual field on the right-hand side of my screen so I could see how many tasks the client has in total. Um, it created two fake tasks per person, but you can also see what's been completed. What are you working on? The right side of the screen is fully interactive. I can move tasks from in progress to complete, and it will also update the board up here so I can follow my progress. Um, it even came up with its own priority system, which is something that I hadn't thought of. And I think that's why vibe coding on something like Lovable is so important because the system is thinking through things that we've overlooked. But it's one thing for me to show you what Lovable looks like. It is another thing for us to build a Lovable tool together. So let's go back to the dashboard. And together, let's create something that we as VAs would need in our day-to-day -day work. What every virtual assistant needs, and almost nobody has, is their very own onboarding checklist. So anytime you sign a new client, you need to onboard them. But essentially, the onboarding process is a procedure in which you welcome new clients after they sign your contracts. You get materials together, like you have them share their calendars or inboxes with you. They start delegating tasks to you. Um, it's just a way for them to get up to speed for how to work with you and how to send you tasks. So I thought, what better way to showcase Lovable than building a client onboarding system together. So we're gonna type in a prompt just like you would do with an LLM, like natural speech. We're just gonna tell Lovable what we wanna build and what we hope the outcome is gonna be. If you're struggling with a prompt, by the way, you can always go to your LLM of choice. That could be ChatGPT, that could be DeepSeek, it could be Claude, whatever you're using. Since I'm happy with my prompt, all I'm gonna do is hit this arrow and you're watching this live. I'm not touching the screen. I'm not speeding it up. I'm not slowing it down. Um, you can see here that in nine seconds, it fully understood my prompt. And now it's going to start actually building the interface for us. So that took under five minutes to create this onboarding checklist that we will go through in detail. But I want to show you on the left hand side that Lovable always shows you its thinking and its process. When Lovable is finished coding your product, there are two more things that I really appreciate that this product does. First, it tells you that if you're not super happy with it, you can always refine and customize the design, the layout, the colors, etc. And second, which is if you want to see the code, this is exactly what it coded for you in minutes so that you could have this checklist. I don't know about you, but there's no way that I could ever make this without being a junior developer and going to school for this. So I am very, very impressed. Um, let's get out of our code and now look at what it's built for us. And right off the bat, I love the progress bar. This is definitely something that I will be using in my own business because I am a very visual person. Um, the second thing that I love that it's done is it's given us eight steps. And these are steps that I've guaranteed I've not thought about. Because if you recall in our original prompt, I've only given it three prompts. I want a contract sent, welcome email, and do I have access to login credentials? So Lovable took that prompt and ran with it. I'm kicking myself a little bit because on my client kickoff calls, of course I ask my clients, what are you working on now? What are your biggest goals? What are your biggest roadblocks? And what's the deadline for these things? The fact that this 
now has a checklist to remind me that I should be asking my clients of these things is just a phenomenal tool that I could not be happier with. I do have a question though. So again, I'm glad we're doing this live. I'm going to come back to the chat box box here because I want to know how, once we're done with the checklist, how do we get those options back? Let's find out. So we're going to say, hey, lovable. Uh, this is great. I'm so nice to AI. <laughs> uh, this is great, but I don't know how to reset the checklist for more clients. Let's see what it says. Okay, so it says it has added a reset button. Let's go through and check off these tasks to see if... Oh, it did. I didn't even see that before. My God. That's awesome. The next time you go through your checklist with a new client, you get through all of your milestones in progress. Now we can reset it again. This is phenomenal. I am so glad that we are building this together live because you can see that it is so easy to edit whatever you've just built just by verbal prompts or written prompts. This is this. I'm so elated to find this tool. So let's talk about a couple very important things, by the way. You can see now that with my edits, uh, I have zero credits remaining for today. This is super important to know. And we're going to go over to the lovable documentation, which they have an incredible documentation and FAQ page for you. So any questions you may have, I guarantee that they are here. We need to look at their plans and credits so you can see exactly what you're getting. Now on the free plan, which is what I'm currently using, and I think that's important too, because you can see how clearly you get an incredible end product on a free account. But you get five credits per day, which in my opinion was just enough for me to be able to build two tools. And as a reminder, we built this client onboarding checklist and we also earlier built this um, task list so we could check out our tasks that we were doing with clients. So five credits was enough for me to create two tools and make edits. And you get five credits per day. So I could easily create several more tools that I need for my business tomorrow. Now, if you were to upgrade, you see that you get a lot more. You still get your five credits daily, but you can build a lot more per month. They also have come up with tons of tips and tricks and some prompt engineering for how you can really maximize your prompts to the best of your ability. But I am so thrilled to have found this tool. And, uh, and actually, since you guys stuck with me to the end of the video, I'm going to publish this onboarding checklist publicly. And I'm going to share the link with you, which means you can also access this tool and use it as your own client onboarding checklist. And I hope you consider subscribing to this channel as well, because I do videos weekly and I'm always looking for the next best tools, tips, and techniques to take your VA business to the next level. Thank you guys so much for watching me and I'll see you on next week's video.